Okay, I want to take another look at Sparrow Wi-Fi. This time I want to include or incorporate the Ubertooth One. I didn't have one previously, uh, but thanks to HackerWarehouse.com, I now have uh, my hands on an Ubertooth One. They donated, uh, Hacker Warehouse donated one to the Dragon OS project, so I really appreciate that. I appreciate Hacker Warehouse getting it out here so fast. It's a good quality uh, case that it comes with to protect the Ubertooth, and they've got the antenna there. I suggest taking a look at their site. They uh, sell a lot of good uh, gear there. And then also take a look at their YouTube page. They go over uh, a lot of uh, videos on Tradecraft using everything from the Ubertooth to the HackerF Porta Pack to Alpha Wireless cards. So take a look there, and uh, you can learn a lot of good stuff from them as well. Uh, so what we want to do, though, is we want to take a look. I have the Ubertooth plugged in, and this is all built into... Dragon OS, everything's already there uh, that you need, minus the firmware that we're going to download. But you would take a look at your firmware version, see what you have. Uh, in this case, I do have the latest uh, firmware version, but if I didn't, I'd hop over to the Great Scott Gadgets Ubertooth page. I could uh, read about how to update the firmware. You can see they've got links to the latest release, being the 2000, same thing I have, 2018-12 R1, the Uber Ducky release which is a whole other subject in itself. I'd, I'd like to take a look at uh, using the Ubertooth as a rubber ducky. But anyways, back to the primary purpose of this video is uh, we'll download the latest uh, TAR file here, which has the firmware. Uh, in this case, I've already downloaded it. Uh, we can see you can extract it here or via a command line. And then what we want to do is jump over to wherever we may have downloaded it and extracted it. Change into the Ubertooth One firmware bin. You can see we're looking for the Bluetooth RXTX DFU. And then the command you can see right here to upgrade the firmware. I've already got it here. Uh, let's see, so I have the Ubertooth again plugged in. You'll see, you may you may get that. I've already uh, updated it. I'll unplug it, plug it back in. We'll, we'll just go ahead and flash it again. Uh, you see it's now detached. Reach over, unplug it, plug it back in. You'll see I've got the latest firmware. Of course, I already had it from the beginning. So now that we've knocked that out, we want to change to our directory user source Sparrow Wi Fi. We'll do sudo python3 sparrow wi fi.py. This will open up the program. And so uh, actually, Actually, one more thing. If this is the first time that you're using this and you uh, want GPS, which I have a BU353S4 USB GPS puck plugged in, I've found that uh, it's best to come down here and I've already edited the file and put TTY USB 0 in there and save the file, which I got that from the... Uh, dev folder I can see once I plugged it in it came up right here and then I restarted GPSD okay so back to Sparrow Wi-Fi okay so we're back here we now have GPS, I've got the HackRF, the Ubertooth plugged in, and then we have the internal wireless card of the laptop. So now we can see that the Ubertooth is available here. I go ahead, now I'm scanning the 2.4 spectrum with the Ubertooth while simultaneously scanning the 5 gigahertz spectrum with the HackRF. Now on top of that, the wireless NIC card inside the laptops is dual band. So if I go ahead and I'll pause for a second and move the columns around so we're not showing MAC addresses. 
Okay, I'm back. So now we can see it's now using the internal card to scan uh, both 2.4 and 5 gigahertz, which is being overlaid uh, on top of the spectrum down here. So now you can begin to see, you know, I don't know if you had the uh, microwave running or some other uh, uh, 2.4 gigahertz uh, devices on or 5 gigahertz, you can kind of see where interference problems may be. So I find that really helpful and that's yet another feature of the Ubertooth. Now since since we do have the Ubertooth plugged in, that'll take priority when we want to do uh, beacon mode or Bluetooth discovery. You'll see you'll get a warning about, hey, it's being used for the spectrum scanning. Would you like to stop? If I click yes, we'll see it's no longer being used down there, but we can do promiscuous discovery and low energy advertisement discovery here. So let's see. And now we're going to get a little more range because we got the Ubertooth versus an internal uh, Bluetooth card. And yeah, so now we're using the Ubertooth uh, to look at uh, Bluetooth. We've got the NIC card or the wireless NIC card, and then it, you know with GPS, this information can be logged, and then you can export it to a file that you can import uh, to say Google Maps to view you know the various uh, devices and stuff that you are uh, passively finding. So. And then if you wanted to pick back up on the Ubertooth uh, scan in the spectrum, you just check mark there. You could change the gain. You can, uh, you can do telemetry, which I showed in a previous video. You could select a network that you want, and then you can start doing telemetry on it. You come here, you can see your GPS information. And then something else I'll touch on, uh, I still need to touch on, is setting up the uh, agent, which uh, this, what you're viewing right now could be the server, and then on a Raspberry Pi or another laptop running spare Wi-Fi, the agent portion, you can reach out and connect to that through a network and then view that remote device in spare Wi-Fi. I think that's another really powerful uh, feature of this. Uh, in the example that they give, uh, the way they kind of designed it is uh, taking a Raspberry Pi and putting on a drone. You can uh, you can set it up to where the agent will piggyback off the drone's Mavlink GPS and then feed that back through and view it all real time here. So, all right. Um, I hope to do more videos using the Ubertooth. I'm, Yet another device to add to the collection here and add to uh, uh, videos. So, all right.